I know Trump is innocent. January 6th was a very interesting day. They are they're trying to take over the country and bring and put in a king. Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. But we are at war right now. A war for our freedom. The office of Fonnie Willis has just announced that the trial for Donald Trump will begin October 23rd of this year. Uh, talk about having the right to a speedy trial. That is, that's in no time flat. We will see this trial and there's a possibility that we will be able to watch the proceedings because this is a state level trial versus a federal level trial. But I want to play a clip for you of a group called Blacks for Trump. Now, we've known that this group existed since 2016. They are paid to travel around the country and the same faces appear behind Donald Trump with big shirts that say blacks for Trump. Now, this next clip that I'm getting ready to play for you is one of the members of blacks for Trump. But his shirt, <laughs> if you want to get an idea um, of who and what these people are, um, his shirt, his shirt says N word for Trump. In words for Trump. I'm here to support President Trump. You want to know why I'm here to support President Trump? Because they done did black men like this for decades. Make up charges and put them so I know Trump is innocent. I support Trump against this corrupt, two-tiered justice system. That's why I'm here to show my support as a black man for Trump. And I'm wearing my shirt, niggas for Trump 2024, and I mean that. As his voice starts to tremble there at the end because he realizes what he actually sounds like saying this but let's break down this this idea that donald trump is being treated like a black man in america when he has never faced accountability for a single thing he has ever done short of trying to overthrow the united states of america and oh by the way taking nuclear cult, uh, documents uh, top secret nuclear documents and storing them and hiding them in the bathroom at mar-a-lago it wasn't until he did that Right. Let's talk about uh, uh, being treated like black people. Does this black man who has a shirt that says in words for Trump, does he believe that black people could have showed up to the Capitol on January 6th in the name of fighting for justice and came out of there alive when all of those people from January 6th, <laughs> short of Ashley Abbott uh, or Babbitt, whatever her name was, um, all of them went home. All of them went home and and not even half of them have been held accountable. Right. Black people are killed, summary execution at traffic stops by police officers. Donald Trump is not being treated like a black man when he gets the red carpet rolled out for him at every single stop. And this is the first time he's going to even get a mugshot. In fact, on Tucker Carlson's interview, he made it clear that he has a support base that could trigger a civil war. As if the insurrection of January 6th wasn't enough. Do you think we're moving towards civil war? There's tremendous passion and there's tremendous love. Uh, you know, January 6th was a very interesting day because they don't report it properly. Uh, I believe it was the largest crowd I've ever spoken before. People that were in that crowd that day, very small group of people went down there. And then you, there are a lot, of, a lot of scenarios that we can talk about. But... People in that crowd said it was the most beautiful day they've ever experienced. There was love in that crowd. There was love and unity. On January 6th. I have never seen <laughs> such spirit and such passion and such love. And I've also never seen simultaneously and from the same people such hatred of what they've done to our country. So do you think it's possible that there's open conflict? We seem to be moving I, I towards don't know. something. I don't know because I don't know what it you know, I, I can say this. Uh, there's a level of passion that I've never seen. There's a level of hatred that I've never seen. And that's probably a bad combination. Now, that was really a mild response from Donald Trump, who previously we played on this show, uh, made it very clear uh, that it was a very dangerous notion for him to be arrested because he has such a vibrant support base. And now, now, I want you to listen to this next clip, which is uh, given to us by Right Wing Watch on Twitter, at Right Wing Watch. It is of an America First activist, two activists by the name of Dalton Clodfelter and Tyler Russell, who are mocking boomers, MAGA, Make America Great Again boomers, who refuse to believe that they genuinely want Donald Trump to declare himself king 
and impose fascism on the nation. They're, we'll start they're watching all, this they're guy. They're going to freak out when Trump gets back in, then he fires 50,000 people. Yep. And DC is just like Magaville. Magaville. And then the troops are in the streets going door to door. <laughs> Rounding up, rounding the up undesirables <laughs> yeah. who broke the law. <laughs> yeah, who literally broke the law. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's real though. We gotta like when they're like they they are they're trying to take over the country and bring and put in a king. Yeah. I'm like hell yeah, dude. Yeah, let me watch some see, more. See now the the funny thing about that to me is you have people like this who will like call out and be like these guys are fascists like they want a king they they want to like fire everybody and like they, they never want another election to happen and then you'll get like the libertarian maga people like the same guy pretty much they're like no what are you talking about they yeah. don't want that and we're over yeah. like yeah we, we totally don't want that like <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then we go it's, like it's, it's and then so we go funny. live in private and we're like we do want yeah, that. yeah yeah that's what they actually want donald trump knows that Tucker Carlson knows that. That's why he posed the question the way he did. And that's why he pressed to get Donald Trump to say something to that effect. The Republican echo chamber, the conservative echo chamber from all the way down to Tim Pool and the dregs of society. They want that. They're calling for a civil war. They want the violence and they want to do exactly what they're saying in that clip, that they want to be able to arrest the undesirables with the force of law. And they think that it's a game because it's all honestly to them. It is like a video game. How could they destroy the United States of America? How could they actually turn the United States of America into the Republic of Gilead? It's it's a challenge for them. They want this. Donald Trump wants that. His ego desires that. In fact, his ego demands that. And so to the brother wearing the N words for Trump shirt who thinks that Donald Trump is getting treated like a black man. When have you ever seen black people, whether they be the president of the United States or just some random podcasters being able to get away with conspiring to overthrow the federal government? Hell, they they won't even let us have thriving black communities. There's an entire group of white conservatives who have everything that they possibly could need and want, and it's not enough. And so they have convinced themselves that they are so aggrieved and they're so disenfranchised in the country that literally rolls out the red carpet for them that they feel like they're being told by God Almighty to go and prepare some Minutemen who are going to be the, the tip of the spear, I guess, of, of what exactly? Of what? The Second Civil War? Of what? Defending the honor of Donald Trump? This is treason. This is a hijacking of our country. This is war. And I hope and pray it gets resolved before we use guns. I really do. I do not want to see bloodshed in America. But we're at war right now. A war for our freedom. Freedom of speech was just trampled on in Georgia. We had that DA in Fulton County that just filed 19 indictment, 19 people indictments. And if something does not give and the people do not take back control and get these crooked people out, we will be in a very bad war. We're at war now. Ooh, these people really love the idea of going to another civil war. That was a former candidate for governor in the state of Georgia by the name of Candace Taylor saying the um, quiet part out loud and saying it very succinctly. Uh, they really expect to be to go to war over Donald Trump to defend the honor of Donald Trump, which is to them the same one of the same fight as defending the integrity and the honor of this patriarchal white supremacist system, Christian supremacist system. That's what they believe that they are fighting for. And, uh, you know, they are working themselves into a frenzy. And I really can't stress enough that we should take these people seriously. I mean, well, what does that even mean? Well, that means that you should be aware of where you are and who you are around and what they really believe. And as that rhetoric intensifies over a period of time, you'll notice these lone wolf mass shootings. They begin to increase with frequency. And if you read the manifestos of these so-called lone wolf mass shooters, they all have the same exact ideology. They may not be those mass shooters may not specifically be doing it in the name of Donald Trump, but they're certainly doing it in the name of white male Christian supremacy. We really need to take them seriously and govern ourselves accordingly. If no other place first at the ballot box 
for the love of God, can we at least try to vote all of these traitors out before we actually have to go to some kind of war?